Okay, we're gonna be going for something a little different today. I've got a piece of American Elm that I roughed into a blank at the bandsaw a little while ago. It's pretty dry. We're gonna go ahead and mount it just flat up against the chuck. This will almost be like a jam chuck and I'll bring up the live center at the other end. And I'm gonna turn a bowl with a little different of a shape. So I've got center marked on the one side. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it flat up against the chuck. I'm gonna start turning with my 5 base bowl gouge. I've got a swept back Irish grind. The bevel's at 60 and I've actually made a second bevel that is called a relief grind. The tool is a lot easier to work with when you have it. So we're gonna start. Here we go. Now because sanding is so boring and nobody really wants to sit through it and watch the entire process, here's a clip of Steven Seagal fighting down some people. Straight up 1990 karate fight movie. You're welcome. Wow. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. I was originally thinking about using lacquer and then I changed gears completely and said I'm gonna use beeswax mineral oil mix. And now I am in the world of carnauba wax. Don't ask me how my mind works. This stuff is made for pens. This is Hut Perfect Pen Polish Carnauba Wax Friction Polish. But I'm actually gonna get a little weird with this and try it on a bigger piece like this bowl. We're gonna see if this actually works. So basically this stuff is a friction polish, so all I'm going to do is rub the wax up against the wood while it's spinning and then buff it with a paper towel. Yeah. <laughs> that looks way way better than I ever thought it would have holy cow this is like crazy shiny it is so smooth that was that was a great idea this is uh this is where it's at <laughs> that may have been the fastest and greatest looking finish I have ever done ever ever okay so now I'm gonna take it out of the chuck jam chuck center configuration we're gonna grab it by the tenon and work on the top of it and yes I know there's a huge gap between chuck jaws and this is gonna come out of the lathe and that's never gonna work you don't know what you're doing basically I need a bigger set of chuck jaws and also basically I cannot see the purpose of investing in that big set of chuck jaws because this has never failed me bumps the camera but this has never failed me it's never come out of the chuck jaws before knock on wood and everybody says you never want to have this big of a gap between chuck jaws i don't understand why never had a problem with it so take that wood turning purists okay now we're going to go ahead and work on the inside
Oh my God, I cannot believe how great this finish is. I can't get over this. I don't know why nobody uses this stuff on bowls or anything but pens. I mean, this is like a seriously high quality finish. This is some serious, some serious finishing skill right there. It's like the easiest thing to do ever. Now that I'm done ranting about how great this finish is, we can go ahead and get out this little work of art the wooden jam chuck it's literally a piece of wood with a tenon shelf and drawer liner this is key absolute key in getting successful results from your wooden jam chuck without this the fit won't be necessarily different it'll still grip the wood but it'll really mar up the inside of your bowl and leave a little mark this stuff helps cushion and protect the wood yeah we can just bring up the live center too the original center hole from when we first turned this. Okay, we need shelf and drawer liner adjustments. I'll try that. That is slightly better. So just make sure you have good pressure in your tailstock. I just brought up my tool rest. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the tenon and I'm gonna stop talking now. So now that the foot is all turned down the way I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out from between centers. This piece snaps off and uh, power sander just to finish everything off. And uh, I just realized this is kind of difficult to apply without high speed and power tools. Okay, I have not used this thing in a really long time, but I found a buffing wheel we're gonna try this. That does not look too bad. This is just a really cheap buffing wheel I got at Harbor Freight. It came in a kit with some wax. I never really used it. I don't really know why I bought it, but I think this is what I'm gonna do next time I use this finish on a bowl because it really is a pretty finish. I can't tell you how smooth it is and um, it's got a nice satin kind of glow to it. And that's pretty much it.